hello viewers you are welcome to Yuki culture channel if you are new to my channel consider subscribing like and also share my videos today i would like to show you how to make a raw food puffed sleeve and the method i'll be using for the fabric is is called fabric manipulation i first of all manipulate the fabric and thereafter i'll draft out my off shoulder puff sleeve so this is the material i'll be using i have my basic off shoulder bodies already if you haven't watched my video on this i've done a video on how to cut or draft out an off shoulder bodies with sleeve so i implore you to watch that so the materials i will use for this tutorial they are the a satin fabric i'm going to use that one for the fabric manipulation and interfacing the soft one and the essence of this is to hold the satin fabric in place the off shoulder sleeve pattern the lining i need the thread the needle and my marker i also need an elastic thread so the breadth of this material is 16 inches and the length is 56 inches so i'll go right away and iron the interfacing on the material so the length of your material can be of any length of any desired length how puffy you want your fabric or your sleeve to be so i'll go ahead and iron it carefully the essence of ironing this interfacing is to hold the material because it's a soft material so i want it to give it a support so after ironing this is what i have so i'm going to fold into two like so after folding into two i'll come to the folded edge so i'll start my measurement so i'm going to measure four on the length four inches on the length and also four inches on the breadth like so so after measuring the four inches i'm going to fold on the length by four inches i'll fold on the length by four inches so after folding on the length by four inches i'm going to iron it out i'll iron it out so after ironing it out i'll go ahead and also fold on the breadth by that same four inches i'll measure four inches out I'll fold on the braid by four inches and also press it with my iron so i can press it like so carefully so after pressing it i'll make sure i press it carefully and the measurement is still in place all through so i'll continue folding like that till i finish folding my fabric i'll fold on the length and on the breadth like so and make sure you consider all the edges all the edges iron it properly because you need it so i'll continue my folding until i finish folding all my fabrics so you press as you fold you press as you fold you press then you I'll fold on the bread like so. The essence of this is that I want to I want to achieve a square. I want to achieve regular squares along the fabric lines. So and that is the essence of folding the way I'm folding. I'll fold on the bread until I finish folding all the fabrics. So as you are folding make sure you are pressing and you are ironing the edges so i can now go ahead and open it up you can see the squares have been formed so i have the squares formed already four by four squares has been formed so i'll go ahead on all where all the four cardinal points meet you can see where the four points meet on all the angles i'm going to use the cover of this drink to make circles so i'll make the circles like so i'll continue to make all the circles 
on all the angles so the circles will continue like so So after I've done all that, I'll go ahead and bring out my off shoulder sleeve pattern. So the hair mold, I'm going to mark it out on these open edges, the open side on the sleeve pattern, on the sleeve, on the fabric. I'll, I'm not going to do it like this because it will waste my fabric. I want the upper part of my arm to be more puffier than the lower part. So that's why I will come like this. I'll come straight and measure out the arm o measurement. So I marked it out like so and go to the sleeve opening and measure five inches. Then I'll I'll connect the points together with a straight line. The essence of this is that I'll have a, a the, the fabric will be more puffy on the upper part, the one that is connected to my neckline than the sleeve opening so i'm going to trim this this excess off so this is my ham hole the part i'm labeling labeling now is my ham hole so the part x will be cut out and i have my sleeve drafted out off shoulder puffy sleeve is drafted out now so I'll start my fabric manipulation now. So I'm going to use a thread and needle. So fix your thread into your needle and hold like so. On the circumference, on the circumference, on the small circumference that you just draw, you tack together. You hold together like so and tack together like you want to knot something, like you want to knot a fabric. You tie together i'm not using a machine because if i use a machine if i use my machine it won't be as as nice as this so i'm done so i'm done with the first tacking as you can see this is called smoking so i've smoked the first one and you can see the right side how it looks it's very beautiful so i'll go ahead and do the second one so i implore you to use your hand needle because it will be better and it will be finer so i've done the second one the second one is done so you can see I'll go ahead and do more So right now I have five of it done already. So turning to the right side, this is what I have. You can see it is very lovely. This method can be used for any part of your fabric. You can use this method, this smoking method, for your skirt, for your peplum, for your sleeve. So you can see how beautiful it is. The fabric has been manipulated now. Then. I can go ahead to fix it as my puffy sleeve. So the next thing to do is to join a lining. 
so the line will be cut out the same with this but some measurement will be added because i'm going to pleat a little in the middle because of the ruffles so i'll pleat in the middle a little because of the ruffles so after that i've done after after i've done that i'm going to go to this edge the edge that will be connected to my neckline so i'm going to run a straight stitch then i'll gather it so because i've joined the lining it will be very difficult to gather but i'll go gently then i'll do the gathers so i'm going to pull a thread out of the two threads you know when you run a straight stitch you are not going to knot the thread so you just run a straight stitch and the straight stitch will be loose for you to be able to gather it so you gather gently like so just pull one out of the two thread and gather it the way i do i'm going to measure this part on my sleeve i have 11 inches and five and a half inches on fold so i'm going to cut a band so i'm using the lace material to cut the band So the band is cut out now so i'm going to put the gathered part i'm going to stitch the gathered part on this band the band is of three inches width and um, 11 inches long so i'm going to stitch this part and the sleeve opening will i'm going to use a an elastic rubber because the sleeve opening is my round sleeve another method you can use for the part i gather is you can use your elastic rubber to gather it like so like i'm doing it but i'm just doing it for the purpose of this tutorial it's not as if that's the method i will use for this tutorial so i'm going to put the elastic inside like you're seeing it and stitch it straight like that and be careful that my needle does not press my elastic rubber so you can do that and as you are doing it you pull your rubber you pull your rubber as you are doing it so and that is that so i will go on my machine right now and use the method i said i want to use because i've gathered the fabric i'm going to gather it place the gathered part on the band so i'm going to stitch like so then turn it to the right side and use the method called the stitch in the ditch to hide my stitch so i'm going to hide my stitch in between the fabric and the lace material then i'll do that now so after that the next thing to do is to place my elastic rubber and the elastic rubber will be the length of my round sleeve so i'm not making it too tight or too loose so the next thing to do now is to fix my sleeve to the bodies to the off shoulder bodies so i have the measurement that is on my sleeve ammo is the one on the off shoulder ammo also so that's why to fix it will be very easy so i'll go right away and fix my sleeve on my bodies So after that has been done this is what we have so my puffy sleeve is ready 
off shoulder pelvis sleeve is ready and it's beautiful as you can see it's very beautiful this method of fabric manipulation makes it more beautiful so you can use this method even if you did not manipulate the fabric you can also use this method to fix your off shoulder board off shoulder sleeve so this is the front part i'm still going to attach a peplum to the half length i'm going to attach a peplum to the half length but the essence of this tutorial is to teach you how to make an off shoulder sleeve a puffy off shoulder sleeve using fabric manipulation method so we've come to the end of the tutorial if you like my tutorial feel free to like share and give us a thumbs up don't forget to leave your comment or your observation in the comments box so i'm going to attend to it promptly thank you and see you in my next video. Bye for now.